How you guys doing? My name is Jim Looney. I'm the offensive line coach at Marist High School. I'd like to welcome you guys to our first online clinic. I know it's some interesting times right now, but uh, today hopefully we can get through some offensive line stuff to help you out. So the four things we're going to focus on today are drills that not only do we do every day, all right, but they're also things that you can do at home. So we're going to talk first about our quick feet, which we do, which we do a speed ladder. All right, next we'll talk about hip flexibility. From there we'll go to a drive block. All right, and then we'll finish up with a B angle pass set. Okay, so we're gonna go into the first thing here, which we work on our quick feet. We not only do this all the time in the off season, but we start every practice in our online individual with the speed ladder. All right, always focusing on quick, quick movements with our feet. So we focus on six exercises for the speed ladder. Now, if you do not have a speed ladder, you can take some chalk, you can draw it in your driveway, you can set up cones, there's a lot of different ways you can do the speed ladder. But we, what we focus on is we'll do one foot, two feet, bunny hop, left foot lead, right foot lead, followed by the icky shuffle. All right, and we're gonna have Jack Carmen here demonstrate the speed ladder for you. Okay, so next we're going to move on to our second drill we're going to talk about, which is our hip flexibility. This is something we focus mainly on in the off-season. We really want our offensive linemen hips to be very flexible so they got a good bend. So we focus on what we call the hurdles and the inchworm. Um, now at home we will not have an opportunity to have the hurdles. We have those at school. So our guys are using um, you know, weight benches, they're using chairs, you, know, you can do it on air. There's a lot of things you can do with the hurdles. All right, and then the inchworm You'll see as Pat Coogan demonstrates it, you do not need anything for that. Okay, so before we go to it, we're gonna, he's gonna, Pat Coogan's gonna show you hurdles, followed by the inchworm for our hip flexibility. Okay, so next we're going to move on to our drive block. Okay, a couple things to talk about with our drive block. With us, we, we treat, teach it as a three-step process. So we have our first step, which is a six-inch zone step to the play side. Okay, followed by the second step, which we are driving our backside knee through the, through the middle of the defender. Okay, one thing to talk about on that second step, with, with the second step, we are bringing our hands on the second step. We teach low to high with our hands, all right, a small aiming point. We like to say aim small, miss small. Okay, from there, you're gonna bring your hips through, all right, drive and finish. Now, a couple things you can do at home. So, if you're on your own, you can do it on air. We're having our guys do it every day on their own so that when we come to camp in August or July, that they're, they're ready to move and it's like muscle memory. All right, so Pat Coogan's gonna show you how to do that on air. All right, also, if you have a partner, a brother, or somebody you can work out with at home, we like to use a med ball, all right, but you can use a basketball, something that's smaller, okay? Uh, Matt Sheehan and his brother Frank Sheehan, who's a recent graduate of Marist and played offensive line, they're going to show you how to do it at home with the med ball. Okay, so next we're going to talk about our B angle pass set at Marist High School. We teach all our pass pro in different angles, but today we're going to focus on our B angle pass set. It is a 45 degree angle, okay, some things to focus on with this. So for the drill, you would set up three cones, so for example, 
All right, you set up your three cones. All right, it's things to focus on. We want to have our quick feet. We talk about that. Feet are always in the ground. We talk about grazing the turf, all right? Grazing the turf, keeping our shoulders square as we get from point A to point B as fast as we can, okay? We talk about our independent hand movement, okay? We like to use independent hands. From once you get to that second cone, we call it a power step. You're gonna power back to the center, all right? Also keeping your shoulders square. So for example, if I start out here, I'm gonna do my bingo pass set, quick feet as fast as I can in the second cone, then I'm gonna power step back, okay? For this drill, you will see that Pat Coogan and Deuce McGuire will demonstrate the B-angle pass set. Okay, just to kind of recap kind of what we talked about with the offensive line clinic. All right, remember we have our quick feet, which is that speed ladder. Again, if you do not have a speed ladder, you can use chalk, you can draw one in your driveway. There's a lot of different things you can do to work on that quick feet. From there, we go to hip flexibility, where we have our hurdles and our inchworm. Again, if with not having hurdles, you can use chairs, you can do it on air, there's a lot of different things you can do. Okay, with our drive block, again, kind of the same thing. We've got to really focus on getting our feet in the ground as fast as we can, bringing those hands on our second step. If you do not have a partner, somebody to work out with at home, you can do it on air, work on your muscle memory. If you do have a partner, you can use a basketball, something smaller for that aiming point to really work on your drive block. Okay, and then to finish up, we have our B angle pass set. Again, that all comes back to quick feet, all right? Especially in our pass pro Ameris, we like to say we want to strike with our hands, win with our feet. Okay, so that kind of comes back to that. Getting that second cone, shoulders square, good positioning, all right, and power step back. All right, I think especially right now in these times, our guys are really working on our, their quick feet and their hip flexibility. So when we come together, we're really ready to take off and get moving. I'd like to take this opportunity to just thank you guys for being a part of our first Marist online football clinic. All right, looking forward to seeing you. Take care.